cool. Yeah. How different is it now mm -hmm. as a senior compared mm -hmm. to when you was a junior? And please give us some enlightenment into what your diet is like now. Well, when I was a junior, I was reckless. To be honest, to be totally honest with you, like mm. I was, I was out here doing mad stuff, like going out all the time, partying and whatever. And I don't regret it because I was young. Like you need to enjoy your years. You sometimes, like you can't, you can't get old too soon. Yeah. Because yeah. when you get to your mid twenties, you're gonna be like, right, where did, where's the time gone? Do you know what I mean? And and I think everything is about balance. I think lifestyle is subjective to the individual, because there's been years where I've been poor with my diet, gone out quite a lot, sleep late, blah, 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 run a certain time. In another year, been on it, sleeping, I'm anti, man them, I'm gonna see you next year. I'm not out, I'm at home, recovery, everything, same time, around the same time. So what, what, what was the limiting factor? What was the defining factor in making me run fast? It might not have been the lifestyle, it might have been other things. Yeah. So now I'm older, and I'm getting faster, I'm realizing you need to rest because to be able to come back and do the session at the same intensity it needs to be done at, you need to rest. Whereas before, I could give you a sick session on a Monday, it may not give you anything else till Friday. But now I can come in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and give you the same level every time because my life is a bit better. In terms of nutrition, I'll be the last person to sit here and tell you, I have five grams of protein, I have five grams of veg. I don't, I'm not on that because it's too, it makes things too complicated. Some yeah. people, if you're someone who puts on weight quickly or whatever, I get it, you gotta control that. But for yeah. me, I keep it simple. Have some protein, have some carbs, have some salad or veg, fruit as well. Have a balance of those things and make sure on my plate, I've always got, I'm always, one of those things has always been represented on my plate, yeah. that's it. I don't care how big or how small the portion is. My, my thing more so is, um, how frequently I'm eating. Okay. So for me, I find that when I don't eat frequently, I lack energy and I'm more tired and blah, blah, blah. So I try to eat five times a day. Okay. But not five meals a day. Yeah. So breakfast is gonna be my big meal. Yeah. Snack in between. It could be a cereal bar, it could be a rice cake, it could be anything, yeah? Yeah. That's my second one. My third one's lunch, snack again. Fifth one's dinner. And that's how I try to keep my routine because I, it's unrealistic for me to say, you know, I'm gonna have this much grams, I'm gonna do this because what if my day's hectic one day and I forget to do it? Oh, am I gonna, all of a sudden I'm not gonna run fast. That can't be my determinant nutrition. Yeah, and if it is my determinant, then clearly there's other things I'm not doing well, if that's my determinant to run fast. Cause so. I watched a documentary, I think it was a brief documentary on Tyson Gate. This was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And like, he's one of the greatest sprinters ever to touch this planet. Yeah. But it just seemed like he almost didn't enjoy the sport because it was just so, planned out like yeah. he was like yeah monday i have chicken tuesday i have this and i was like that's way too disciplined for me i can't yeah. do that i can't be that guy i think with tyson gay i don't know him personally i had an opportunity to meet him in 2012 pre-olympics mm. but like from what i've seen i think what we all know of him i think he was probably unhappy because of a certain jamaican <laughs> Well, who kept I, taking would, these I, would, I would be too. Yeah, who kept taking these shine away. So maybe it might not have been the nutrition because I, I can understand when you start to run anything really 980 faster, I feel like there's you've got to tighten everything up. Yeah. If you're going to do it without drugs, yeah, you need to be on point in everything. Every, every component of your setup needs to be world-class. Your scientist, your therapist, your coach, everything, your lifestyle, it's got to be so on point because what you're trying to do naturally is fucking hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy to, to run those times naturally. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I can understand him eating his chicken and that, but I think he's probably just unhappy because he was just getting, he was just getting tucked in by a bolt all the time. I mean, time. Do you know what when I mean? you're running nine, seven, one, yeah. and you come second. That's mad. That's gotta be tough. That's mad. Cause that would have won every single thing before that competition. Actually Everything no, I wouldn't have won 2008, and, but still. And, yeah, after. and after. Mad no, thing though. Minus 20, minus 20, 2012. 2012 and 2008, he would have won, won everything. He would have won. So, so mad. That has to be and that's, tough. I guess that's the, 
where we could say, would you be upset That's if you came second? I get that. Yeah, that Because one, that was a madness. <laughs> that actually was a madness. I, I was a really big fan of Tyson Gay when I was younger. Like, Seriously? I, yeah, I used to root for him a lot. I really wanted him to beat Bolt. Like, I always think, I don't see the hype in Bolt, you know? Like, da, 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 da. I used to be that guy. I, used to, I really liked Tyson Gay. And then obviously when everything happened with him, I kind of wasn't really a fan as much. And I kind of leaned, leaned towards Bolt a bit more. I wasn't a fan of Bolt until... 2012. Mm, same, 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 same. 2008 and 9. Because mm. I knew about him before, but he mm. was just, he was a kid. Yeah. Like, so it was kind of just like, okay, cool. Yeah, this, this kid's quite quick. Like, mm. he's going to do bits. Yeah. But to see him just taking the absolute piss out of these athletes, like, <laughs> man's eased up at like 75, 80 meters, yeah. slapping his chest. I'm like, I can't watch this fool. I was watching that but, race the other day and... Cause I, I've been, I was studying like some of his transition and whatnot, yeah. Okay. And I said to myself, this guy actually eased off and ran nine six eight, and I'm and I and I'm training hard, and I'm thinking, I know when I run, I'm like, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not running nine six right now, and it, mm. do you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, I'm pressing, I'm on the accelerator right now. I think this guy just eased off and ran nine six. I said, that like bloody hell, like that must have been a mad. Like what was he doing? <laughs> Like, what was he doing? Like, what was he doing? I just thought I think to myself, I was like, what was he doing to, to run that quick? I don't know. I actually don't know. Question of the tone when I'm stepping in. 30 battles of the zoom till I'm sending me. I had to let.